Why do you think House was such a success? It was huge, is huge here in France. Um, I think that it's it's the character, the character uh, is, you know, so wonderfully to me, heroic, you know, he fights for you till the end, he does not, you know, sort of cower in the face of any authority, um, he defies all odds, he's endlessly amusing and funny, um, he's musical, he's, you know, he's wounded, pretty, I was going to curse, uh, pretty great, <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I think it's what, you know, Hugh brought to the role, combined with the role, that just made him larger than life. What is Hugh Laurie like for those of us who don't know him outside of House in life? Ah, uh, Hugh Laurie in real life outside of House is um, as charming and talented and interesting and funny as you would ever imagine. I mean, really kind and generous and um, very hardworking, detail oriented, um, funny. Um, we had it made. We had it made. And for you as a producer on the show, what did that entail exactly? You produced and you directed some episodes. Yeah. How did you juggle both of those and what were they like? Um, well, you know, at, uh, producing, starting the show and staying with it, directing, the only time I couldn't produce, you know, was when I was directing because then you're on the floor all the time and you're really sort of in it. Uh, but it was great. It, you know, it was busy. I basically would show up and um, be steered in a different direction, you know, upstairs to go to editing for a few hours and then downstairs to go to casting and then something on the set and a studio and network call regarding a script or whatever it was. But it was busy, but it was fun. What are you working on next? You Now the bar is so high after House, what are you planning? The bar is so high, so I don't want to go. I'm, I'm um, well, I'm, I, there's a movie that I'm going to do for Sony, direct for Sony, uh, and that's set in the world of music. I may do some cable TV. Um, and I may just stay and enjoy Monaco for about a year or two. No, I don't know. It seems like, despite the fact there are more and more women working in Hollywood, there is still a bit of a glass ceiling. Is that something you felt, or do you feel that that's slowly being erased? Um, I don't think that there's a glass ceiling necessarily for, uh, for women. I mean, I don't know if their pay is the same, is equal. But I think that in Hollywood, um, you know, a good idea is a good idea people are essentially selfish so if you have a script that's good or an idea that's good they're going to want to work with you regardless of gender you may not get paid the same I'm not complaining but uh, but I don't think there's a glass ceiling and to what do you attribute the fact that there are more and more film actors who are now coming over or back to the small screen that, well because I think that the small screen I think the material um, is really top-notch I mean I think the writers have done fantastic work I think movies are so big and expensive to make and need to invite such a huge audience uh, to pay for that a lot of the character driven stories are now on the small screen so I think that um, it's really a tribute to the writers and the material uh, that so many actors want to work in TV because uh, they're doing top-notch work.